welcome back to my channel. I am back with a full coverage glam makeup tutorial. It's all warm tones. It's all me. I use the new MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid Eyeshadow. I have it on my eyes in the shade Beam Time. I also filmed a video where I swatched all of the 10 shades. It's in my description box, so click on it if you want to see it. And if you want to see Ooh, I think I was spitting. If you want to see how I achieve this look, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I don't know if I have to apply like a certain primer, so I'm just gonna prime my eyes like I would normally do, and I'm using the NARS Soft Complete Concealer in Medium 2. This is in the shade Ginger, which is obviously way lighter than my skin tone. It has been very hot here in Holland, so I am pretty tanned right now. So I'm just gonna deal with it. All right, so the only thing I'm not gonna do is apply powder on top of my concealer. Normally I would do that, but I know it's a liquid product and liquid on top of powder. I don't think it's gonna work. So we're just gonna leave it the way it is right now. I am going to use the Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. I think I'm just gonna keep it to the neutral colors because on my eyelid, I'm gonna use this color right here. It's called Beam Time, and it's kind of a champagne, very pretty color. It looks pretty, I hope it's pretty on my eyes. So the first shade I'm gonna use is this brown shade right here, it's called Burkina. I'm taking my Sigma E40, and I don't wanna to have too much product on top of it, I'm just gonna apply it in my crease. Look at the difference. My face is so much lighter than my body because my face just doesn't tan. I don't know what it is. It's, it's darker than normal, I think, but it's not like the same color as my body. So it's going to be a challenge on what foundation I'm gonna be wearing. I'm gonna take my MAC 221 and the shade right here, it's called Zulu, like more of a reddish kind of eyeshadow. Just on the outer part and my lower crease. And with that same brush, I'm gonna go in with this darker brown shade. I'm applying it on that same area just to darken it a little bit. It's actually the thing I always do, so it's nothing new. So for now, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. Um, maybe I wanna apply more, but we'll see later on. Let's apply this baby right here. Again, this is in the shade Beam Time. I don't know if I wanna apply it like this or use a brush. You know what? Let's just apply it like this uh, and I always have a brush to blend it out in case I need to. Oh, whoa. Well, that's pretty. Okay, don't mind the end. I'm going to fix that with eyeshadow later on, but for now, this is a very pretty color. I live for colors like this. I think it's a very easy product to do a cut crease with. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit more because now it's kind of messy, of course, because it is a liquid. Um, and I think I'm gonna go in with the MAC 221 again and then a darker shade just to remove the edges, well not remove, but to make them a little bit soft because that's very harsh. I'm gonna leave it like this, I think, I like this. All right, so the liquid eyeshadow is dry. I am going back in with the shade Fulani and the MAC 221, and I'm just gonna apply it on the outer corner just to make it, you know, a little bit softer. Oh, and the great thing about this one is it doesn't transfer. And that has always been my biggest nightmare when it comes to liquid eyeshadow. Uh, I do have one from Essence, which I also very, very like. Uh, it's a very cheap one, like four euros. It's pretty. All right, let's do a winged liner and I'm gonna use the Catrice Dating Joe Black Matte Eyeshadow. Um, the liquid eyeshadow has kind of a texture on your eye, so I would not recommend using a gel eyeliner. Some people can do that, I just can't, so I always use a liquid liner and pray that my liner will go the way I want it to go. All right, time for some eyelashes. 
falsy signing. Do you see that my lighting is changing just because the sun is shining? I'm getting kind of a pink tone right now. All right, so I closed my curtain. I hope my lighting is better right now. And if not, you know, what can I do? Get better lighting, yes, but we're just gonna do it with my ring light right now. Anywho, let's go do the face. Um, Because we're gonna go glam, we're also going to do a very full coverage foundation. I am going to use the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. And I think this is my shade right now. It's called Toffee 420G. Ooh, maybe I should have cleaned it. But before I'm gonna apply the foundation, I am going to use the um, uh, Fenty Beauty Primer. I think there's only one. It's called Soft Matte Pro Filter. Three pumps. Way too much again. All right, let's hope this is my shade. So I'm first going to take like half a pump because if it's not my color, I don't want to waste any product. So just gonna apply. I think it will do. It's still lighter than my body, you guys. I mean, I don't think it's even possible to match my foundation to my shoulder. So I'm just gonna go with this shade right here, which as you may know, I am normally in two shades a lighter. I have three shades here from this foundation or I mix it, but now it is pretty difficult, but I am going to bronze and contour my face. So hopefully I will be able to make the difference less noticeable because now it's kind of off. Anyway, let me just stop complaining about the foundation and do some concealer. I'm going to use the same one I applied on my eyes, the one by NARS. And to contour, I'm going to use Truffle by Fenty Beauty. Little bit of tart shape tape. By the way, this is in the shade medium. I'm going to apply the Liquid Illuminator by Iconic London, which is my all time favorite, and this is in the original shade. I'm gonna apply a little bit of the RCMA translucent powder underneath my eyes, just like until here, and of course not on top of the liquid highlighter. All right, we're gonna leave the face the way it is right now. Um, of course, we need to do a lot of things, but we're gonna go back to the eyes, and I'm going to mix these two shades together, which is Burkina and Zulu with a Sigma E36. The sun is playing with me today. Ah, and we're back. Some feline eye cool. All right, taking my MAC Studio Fix powder in MW50 and my Morphe M, what is it? M530 to contour a little bit more. And on top of my cheeks, like cheekbones, I'm going to apply the new powder by MAC. It is called Iridescent Powder in Golden Bronze. Uh, it's a loose powder, very shimmery and glowy, so I'm just gonna use a little bit. Well, I'm gonna try to use a little bit. Taking a Glow Goals by Nikki Tutorials and a Real Techniques brush, just to, just to do this. I am going to bake a little bit. Oh wow, why not bake your ears? All right, so now that my face is cooking, let's do some lips. I have a new lip product also by MAC. It's called the Goldilocks Grand Illusion Glossy and or gloss, pretty shade. Like a pinky rose lip gloss. And I think it will go nice with the um, look I'm wearing right now. So what I'm going to do is actually go in with a very dark lip liner, then a lighter lipstick, and then I'm going to apply this on top of it. Let's hope it's good. If not, we're going to remove it. The lip liner I'm using is a Bittersweet by MAC, which is a dark chocolate brown lip liner. Wow, that's so pretty. I'm going to use a Maybelline Nude Embrace 930 Matte Lipstick. Wow, that's a long name. 
we are going back to the 90s or 80s. The line is still too harsh, but I'm going to apply the lip gloss on top of it and see if I need to blend it out more. I don't know. That's gorgeous, right? I am feeling this lip gloss so bad. This is me. This is totally me. I love this so much. Some Fix Plus. All right, so I am quickly going to let this dry, do something about my hair, on my wig, and then I'll be right back. So yeah, guys, after a long time, that was my makeup glam tutorial. Is that how am I gonna call it? I have no idea. Anyway, this is what I came up with. Um, I'm pretty pleased on how it looks. I'm very impressed by the new MAC Dazzle Liquid Eyeshadow. Dazzle Shadow Liquid. It doesn't transfer to my upper lid, so that's a good thing. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you have questions, uh, please feel free to ask, and I will put the link of the video where I swatch all of the 10 shades in the description box, so click on the link if you want to see the video. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon.